What's up, guys? Tell this tip of the day. So I uh, did a tweet. Um, it's either yesterday or the day before about coming soon. Tell this tip of the day. Um, real men are not insecure. So I'm going to dive a little deep into this. Um, there's things that happen as a coach, as an instructor. Um, there's awesome, phenomenal people that I meet. And then there's obviously there's certain people um, in the game of baseball that you meet that you wish you didn't meet. Um, co- a lot of coaches, a lot of times, a lot of, I guess you would call peers. Um, and I see coaches that are trying to implement um, what their philosophies are, what, what they want to do. And the way they do that is they'll talk down about other people. They'll say negative things about other people and my stuff is the right way. And it's okay for you to think that you're right. I I have all the confidence and belief in the world that if you're going to do something and you want to do it to your utmost fullest potential and you try hard and you're studying and you're constantly improving and you want to be the best you can and you're trying to be the best you can, say you're the best. 100% 100% do that all day long. And you know, Muhammad Ali used to say it best. You know, you act like you're the best in the world. And if you're not, you pretend that you're the best in the world. But with that pretend comes the work ethic in order to the work ethic, mentally, physically, emotionally into becoming that person. I guess the fake it till you make it type thing. Um, now, I'm not telling people to fake it till you make it. What I'm trying to get at here is insecure men will talk down about other people. They'll get online and they'll send text messages, or they'll, they'll, they'll tweet online and they'll send text messages to people. Um, they'll see a video and they'll get offended at something because they have a certain context or a certain narrative that they want to control. They want to, they want to, uh, basically, they want everybody to think like them. And I'm going to tell you right now, there's a lot of people that do not think like me. I'm a hard nose. we're going to kick ass and take names type guy. And if you're passive about stuff, I'm not about that. Um, does that mean that I treat everybody the same? Hell no, I don't treat everybody the same. And I'm going to do a podcast here about leadership. This is shaking around a lot because these roads in Kokomo are all over the place and bouncing around on me right now. But I'm going to do a podcast about leadership and how important it is to be a leader, but also at the same time when to follow. And everybody's going to be a leader in their life at one point or another. You might look at this and be like, well, I'm not a leader. Actually, everybody's a leader. And... You just don't realize when you are a leader. In certain situations, you're a leader. So let me get back to to the topic at hand. Real men, they will fight their absolute, everything they got in their body in order to build the next generation and build young men into men. They will lead by example. They will not just say things and talk the talk and not walk the walk. You have to walk the walk. So let's get into this. I have coaches that will say negative things about me just because they don't like me because they're trying to lift themselves up. Um, Clients and people see right through that stuff because here's the end of the day. like Other high school baseball coaches and elite coaches will send their sons to me because they entrust me. They trust me to build their kids, keep them healthy, and make them better, period. Now, that's me. Now, let's look at other coaches that will dog other people in other programs. I'm going to tell you right now, If you're trying to be successful in life and you are a guy, a coach, a leader, any form of leader, leadership, and you are talking down about other people, you're being a keyboard warrior, you're constantly trying to create drama, you're constantly trying to be in this environment of where you are, you know, virtually signaling like that you are the best, that you are the smartest, that, oh, I'm, I wear a mask all the time. So I'm protecting everybody. I'm saving lives. And I'm not going to get into politics right now, but that's an example of what I'm talking about. Oh, well, I I do this assessment with every single player and I know exactly what's wrong. And I can I can I know exactly how these injuries happen and I know exactly how to prevent injuries. You are full of shit if you're saying things like that. Nobody knows everything. I can't tell you how many times I was misdiagnosed by people, by doctors growing up. Uh, when I would have injuries, I can't tell you how many times that I would do something somebody told me to do and it was the wrong way to do it. There's so much stuff in life that I learned from experience that I was in around professionals that told me what told me that this is the right way to do things. So, and I'm not dogging those people. They were trying to help me, but to sit here and say that you have all the answers and that you are this, this, this big time, um, you know, alpha type male, you're not. 
Alpha males lead by example, walk by example. They walk the walk, they talk the talk. They're not just trying to uplift themselves. They're lifting everybody around them. They're trying to make people around them stronger, better. That's the definition of a leader, period. If, if there are people around you that do not believe in you and, and do not feel better when they are around you, you're not a real leader. You're a pretender. And you're a beta male at that, too. A lot of people act like they're alpha and everybody wants to be alphas. And there's this old saying, which I don't like saying anymore because it's been overused by people that think they're alphas. And they say, oh, well, everybody wants to be a lion until it's time to do lion shit. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, I've been around a lot of people that say and talk like that. And 99% of them are not lions. And it doesn't. And like I'm saying, I'm not saying this as a generality. I'm not talking down about that 99% of people. There are just certain type of personalities, certain type of people that talk a lot and don't back it up. And when I see people get offended all the time, I see grown men get offended all the time. I see like if, if I anything I've said that has offended you, you can disagree 100%. I don't, if somebody disagree, disagrees with me, that's their prerogative. They can think that way. They can think however they want, disagree and move on with their life and do what they want. But when I see somebody that is constantly trying to prove themselves or constantly trying to say something in against the grain. They're trying to be different and it's showing, talking down to people. That's an insecure person. Um, I just, I, 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 we're in a, we're in a day and age where everybody has an opinion. Everybody has a voice. It's a very good thing, but it's also a very bad thing. Cause it's, it's, there are people that have, um, clout to show, what they think of being a real man is about. And I'm going to tell you what a real man is about. And this is that you could ignore everything I said in this. A real man protects his family, provides for his family. He builds people up around him. He's focusing on building the next generation and making sure that everybody is strong mentally, physically, emotionally, that is around him. Anybody that he impacts, right? And and this is most importantly, and, and this is me. You can disagree with this, but has faith in God. And believes in a higher being such as Jesus Christ is going to save us and take care of us. And it is, it is going to keep us keep us safe in the long run. That's a true man. Ladies training, out.